right, so today I'm going to show you how to make a light box out of some pretty common stuff. A couple pieces of plexiglass, a tea bracket, uh, a milk crate, um, a halogen light from a filmmaker's kit, uh, a couple of uh, view brackets, two bolts, two nuts. Uh, I've already pre-drilled um, the holes in my um, frosted plexiglass. So you're going to all unfrosted, one clear. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just going to bolt these on here. And make sure you drill the holes big enough that the uh, the screws actually go in. Um, a little small isn't too bad because uh, you're going to tighten it down with the nuts. If I can get it to you. tighten it too much. Uh, there's another step between this one and actually assembling the rest of your uh, light box. That's where the T bracket's going to come in. We're going to actually slide that in here in a second as soon as I got this ready to go. Now that we have uh, it put together, we're going to um, slide in this T bracket right underneath um, the L brackets. Might have made that a little too tight there. Alright, so I'll loosen it up some. And then slide it right in so it's good and tight. Press right up against the nuts and then we're going to tighten them down. And you want to make sure that you tighten it real good. You don't want to have uh, your uh, animation or your paper sliding all around for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our milk crate. And right before we put that in there, we're going to take our halogen light, slide it on in, and uh, we're going to stick the power cord right outside so that we can plug it into our extension cord. We're going to slide this right on top here. Make sure that it's, uh, it's not going anywhere. It won't move around. We're going to grab our clear piece of flat plexi that is... Uh, very clean, very neat, you pull off the extra plastic on it, and you're going to slide it underneath this bracket. Now, one very, very important thing is you're going to want to mark an origin point. So, with your paper, when you're drawing your image, you want to make sure that you have that origin point so you always know where the corner is of your paper, so that while you're going through your different um, film, uh, your frames, you can uh, always keep it lined up. So we're just going to draw an origin point right here in the corner. That's my origin point. That's where I'm always going to have the upper left-hand corner of my paper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my uh, my light and check that out. We got a nice um, light board set up. I'm going to grab my first piece of paper here and I'm going to line it up with my origin. So it's good to go. I'm actually just going to use the marker that I used to draw my origin point and I'm going to draw a nice little circle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit so you can take a uh, get a better look at that. I don't know how well that's going to come out. All right, there you go. Give you a much better look of the first sheet of paper. And I'm going to take myself the second sheet of paper. And I'm going to line it up right with my origin point again and my paper so that everything's all set to go. And if you see, you can actually um, get the second image underneath and we can redraw that image. We're just gonna draw a circle and with that circle, we're actually gonna do the next step of it and we're gonna start the eyeball. And the eyeball is gonna start to raise up there. And then we're gonna grab our third sheet of paper and line it up with our origin. I'm going to redraw this circle right there. And we're going to make that eyeball just a little bit bigger. Then, when we start taking our shots of this, you know, we start and uh, we can roll those eyes off. So we have our first, take our snapshot. We got our second, take our snapshot, and our third. And there you go. That's how you make a homemade light box with some 
really inexpensive materials you can find most around the house or behind your local restaurant. Um, so, thanks a lot and see you next time.